Hey, what's going on, guys? Max here once again, and I don't know what's with my skin today. It's kind of messed up. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to travel redstone upwards super duper quickly. You'll see, guys. <laughs> guys so how does this work well I did show this off in my snapshot video but anyways first I'd like to mention before we begin this requires at least Minecraft version 1.8 unless you're in case you're in an older version of Minecraft you might have mods installed I really don't know it requires at least that Minecraft update and if you want to like go into older snapshots it requires at least Minecraft snapshot 14w18a but anyway, let's look at this. Place this and boom. This only took six sticks to travel up 17 blocks. Let's look at this little old design that people used to use to travel redstone upwards. And boom, let me do this. And boom. That took one second. That took one full second. So now we're going to be looking at how we build this. So I'm going to grab the blocks into my inventory and then I'm going to be back. Alright guys, so here's the items you need. Two redstone torches, uh, and one sticky piston, six slime blocks, two obsidian, and your building blocks, a repeater, and a redstone dust. The first redstone torch is optional. This is your first input block. If you'd like to add on, you'll need an additional of all this for each add on. Anyway, we're going to place this back here, and we're going to crack on with the tutorial. Alright, so how do we build this? Very simple. First, we grab our sticky piston. We place um, six line blocks just here like that. You place your block here, and boom. Now, you're going to come here and place obsidian on either side. And place yourself a repeater here, and a redstone. Now, you're probably wondering, why are we using obsidian? Well, let's look at this carefully. When the slime lifts up, this slime block will push these two blocks, but we do not want that to happen. So the only way is by using obsidian or any other non-pushable blocks. But yeah, this is what it should look like from here. This is almost it. All you have to do is add your building block, or you can add another obsidian if you'd like, and then place your torch. Now simply, when we place this torch down, this redstone will output. In either two or three ticks, I'm not sure about this, please crack me below. But anyway, now how do we extend this? Well, now I'm going to show you. So first we're going to remove the input, and this time we're only going to need an additional um, one redstone torch to it each time, and the rest of the items in my inventory. So the way we're doing this is we're going to actually place our building block here, and you can place your sticky piston again with your slime blocks, additional amount of slime blocks, so if I'm correct, one, two. Okay, and my sixth one, we're going to place our building block once again. This time I like to come from this side instead. Let's place that obsidian on each side. We'll place our repeater on this side this time, and your redstone on this side. Then add your redstone torch, and boom, you got your second output. And we're just going to extend this once more, just because. Just because. So, just to show you again, uh, same stuff each time. Just add that system, and I'm going to also add the inputs to this side as well. And now we can come here, add our building block, torch, repeater, and your redstone. Now, to finish this off, I'm going to actually give myself a command block here. So if we actually give ourselves a command block, let's say, let's come here and say how long this took. So let's see, this took, this took between right so this system took between six to nine ticks so well I should use a slash here now why am I saying six or nine ticks please correct me in the comments below when this repeater is traveling through the block when it gets placed upwards does this actually do an add-on tick please tell me below but we're not going to quite test it yet. We're going to count how many blocks. So let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then this side with the rest one is 25 blocks. So we're going to add on 25 blocks. Now we're just going to simply come here and head back to the bottom, and we're going to run this machine with our special magic redstone torch. So let's come here and place it. Did you see that? That went that quickly. I let, let myself correct myself here. By me coming here and placing my redstone torch, it's taking six ticks to activate upwards 26 blocks. I meant 25. But do you know how quick that is? I don't think we ever got that before. And now I'm going to quickly do a torch tower just for some fun so I'm going to be back in a moment with a tutorial on the torch tower even though it's very simple we're just going to add this onto the video but guys before we start the tutorial even though I have it done it's 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 just I'm going to time lapse backwards if that even makes sense I'm just going to quick explain how this part works so the way this works is it's pushing up slime blocks this is connected to a block now if we turn the system off real quick you can see that when the slime blocks here retract, it actually pulls this block back. This is a new mechanic added to Minecraft Snapshot 14W18A. And yeah, it's been added there at that snapshot, exactly, I believe. So, now you can see these slime blocks pulled it back. So, that's quite unusual in older versions of Minecraft. So, what it's doing is when you press this redstone torch here, let me place it down. When you place down your redstone torch, ignore the message. This gets pushed up and it places the block here so the redstone torch is going through. And then we do the same thing again with the piston with the slime blocks. And when this depowers, the block here will actually come back. So we're going to actually grab ourselves redstone here and do it. And then the block goes back up and the redstone torch once again activates it and does it finally. So now I'm going to time lapse backwards super weirdly enough if that even makes sense but anyway <laughs> okay it's very easy all you need is an additional one sandstone and redstone torch for each one so let's see i'm gonna build this on this side of the machine i'm gonna build it around here so we're just gonna extend this up each time um, as long as it takes to reach the top of what we currently have now this may be inverted the signal so we're gonna actually have to revert that and that does count as an extra redstone torch so that's what I'm going to be using so let me just come up here to the top almost there and then we're going to test this system out so we're almost there and this is not the correct level so place our double redstone torch just like this and a redstone here and then you're going to put a redstone torch right here I meant here. So boom. How many ticks is this? Let me give a count to this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen ticks. So let me just add a command block to this and say let me just come here. Say fourteen ticks. I cannot spell today. Twenty five blocks. Now Let's notice the difference between those. So we're just going to add it and put here. Six ticks. Fourteen ticks. There is a big difference with this system. So, thank you very guys for watching. Sorry, what did I say there? Thank you very much for watching guys. If you did enjoy, please as always like the video to show how awesome it is and subscribe for more epic videos but that's about it for this video have a great day